did you know that about 83% of people whom use affirmations don't see any results? One interesting study back in 2009 found that individuals with low self-esteem could find affirmations unuseful and in some cases feel worse. I, I wonder what affirmations they were having them do. If it happened to fall in line with these five things, I'm going to share with you that can boost your success with affirmation. And I'm going to share a couple of hacks that will help increase the receptivity, the being more open to taking in the affirmations. And if you stick to the end of this, I'm going to share with you the 1111 hour live affirmation challenge. Welcome to Mindfulness Monday, here to give you an empowering start to your week in a quick, impactful, and enjoyable way. Now let's dive in. So what are affirmations? In, in simple terms, it's a positive statement you repeat to yourself to reinforce positive thinking. It's basically a tool to rewire your subconscious mind. Now to those five things that to get better success with the affirmations. This plays a role in the effectiveness of the affirmation. When choosing an affirmation or writing an affirmation out, you want to use those that resonate with you, that feel right. Or here's an example, you could say, you could be saying, I am a millionaire. Well, that might not feel right. That might not resonate. So instead, you could choose something like this. I am improving my financial situation. Or here's another example. I am confident. Or if that doesn't feel right, I am becoming more confident. And then finally, this, this, this last one, it's a more kind of a, of a, of a neutral affirmation for self-worth and acceptance. I give myself permission to be happy and succeed. Now the next one. You might have noticed this with the other examples that I had shared earlier. They were all stated in the present and positive. Also know in the present positive gives immediate empowerment. So remember when you're stating them, you wanna make sure it's I am versus I will be. Something else to keep in mind too as well when you're stating or saying or writing out these affirmations, make sure that you're focusing this on what you're looking to achieve versus what you're wanting to avoid. And here's an example. I am not afraid. So something else too to remember, our minds think in pictures. So stating the not is like stating not to think of an elephant in a pink tutu. It doesn't work. We're still thinking about the elephant in the pink tutu, even though I had stated not to do it. So you could say, I am strong, I am courageous, or with that recent little aha moment, or maybe you already knew this, you can kind of mind trick and say, I am not brave. Since our mind is taking out the not and putting in and focusing on brave. You wanna have the reminders of the affirmations around. So whether you have it on your phone or if you put a screensaver on your laptop, put it on the refrigerator, write it on the mirror, put it on the car dash, somewhere you can continuously see those affirmations so they start getting locked into your mind. Do you know when the best time to do affirmations is when your mind is more open and receptive? We'll come back to that one. This is where you want to make sure you have feelings and emotions behind those words. The emotion helps influence the subconscious. Now, just as important as the first one, the final one helps with rewiring your mind for the positive thoughts and beliefs. It reinforces it and helps to start creating a new habit. Remember, we learn by repetition. 
So this is not going to be just a one and done thing. It's, it's like taking a shower once and being good for the rest of the year. And the best time to do the affirmations when your mind is more open and receptive is right when you wake up and before you go to sleep. You tend to be in an alpha state. And that is when your mind is more open and receptive. And that second way to increase your openness and receptivity to the affirmations, meditate. It not only increases your receptivity and openness, it helps to reduce the internal resistance. Then as far as consistency goes, you can do it for 21 days and see how you feel after. Or you could attempt a full immersion approach for hours at a time. Something like doing an 11 hour period of time can significantly influence your neuroplasticity. Basically, the mind's way of making new connections. Now, this leads me to the 1111 live affirmation challenge. I happen to be planning on doing next Saturday. Going full immersion, I will be saying them out loud then at every top of the hour, meditating on them. And during any breaks from saying them or meditating on them, I will have a headset in playing the affirmations. So again, there is constantly ongoing affirmation. During that time, I will not be doing any interactions. I will not be checking any emails. It is going to be fully immersed into the affirmations. So if you want to come by and watch, feel free to do so. And small disclaimer, it might be kind of boring. And, and remember, I'm doing this more so for the documentation and the proof of doing 11 hours and 11 minutes. And no, I will be making a recap video of the experience. Now keep empowering that mindset. And if you'd like to see the recap of the live challenge, or see what YouTube decides to suggest for you next to watch, go ahead and click this video right here next.